Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, what I'd like to do is show you guys how you can send data from one activity to another. This process is a lot easier than you might think, so let's get started. So if you haven't already, what I would do is go and check out my video about how to change from one activity to another. The project that was created in that video is what I have pulled up right now. And as you can see, all we did in that video is change from one activity to another when you press a button. So that's what we have pulled up right now. And all I want to do in this video is add in some edit text so the user can type in some value and take that value and send it over to our second activity. The first thing that I'd like to do is add in an edit text so that the user is able to place in some value to send over to activity two. The way we go about doing that is by coming over to our palette, coming down to text and then placing in a plain text view. Now I'm going to give this a constraint between our text view up here and our button and then give it a left and right constraint so it's in between the two views. And then if we come over to our attributes panel, you'll notice that we have this error. That's because we have a hard-coded string within our text slot and Android Studio doesn't like hard-coded values. The way we fix this error is by coming all the way over to the leftmost panel, coming to our resources folder, values, and then we're gonna click in the strings.xml. In here, we're gonna define a new string. I'm just gonna copy and paste this guy and we'll just change a few things about it. So I'm going to give it a name of edit text string and then we're going to give it a value of name. So this is going to look exactly the same except this warning will no longer be there. So if we double click this type in at string come all the way down to edit text string. This will get rid of this error here. So if we come back this error is no longer there and it's just referencing the value that we created within our string resource file. Now, if we come back to our XML file, you will notice that there are still a few more errors associated with our edit text. If we come over to the top left hand corner, click this far left button here to show the XML code associated to our main activity. We can scroll all the way down to our edit text. And the reason we're getting these errors is because Android Studio wants us to add a label to our edit text and provide autofill hints. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're not going to include those. So if you hover over the edit text tag, we just click this set autofill hints, leave it as nothing, come back up and do the same exact thing. And we're just going to ignore the label for our edit text. So then if we come back to the design screen, you'll notice that there are no more warnings associated to our edit text. The next thing that I'd like to do is give it a new ID. So if we come back over to the attributes panel in this first slot, there's an ID value. I'm just going to give it an ID of user's name. So then we can come over to our main activity.java file and within here we can start writing the code that will take the string out of our edit text and send that over to activity two. So just a quick review of what's happening within our code. In our onCreate method, we grab the button that's within our XML file, store it into this variable here, and then we set up an onClick listener. And when the user presses a button, this change activity method is called. And within here, we just create an intent and then we swap over to our new activity. So now to pass data over to our new activity, we can actually modify this intent, or I'm hesitant to say modify, we can add on values to our intent by using a few built-in methods that Android Studio provides. The first thing that I wanna do is grab our edit text, just the same way that we grab the button in our onCreate method. So if we go edit text to reference that class, we'll just call it edit text to keep things simple. Set that equal to find view by ID, then we're going to go r.id and now if you remember we gave it an id of user's name so that's going to grab our edit text and then we can create a new string and then we can just call this user's name and within this variable we're going to extract the string from our edit text the way we do that is by typing in edit text dot get text and then once we have that text we have to convert it to a string so now we have whatever the user typed within our edit text stored within our user's name variable so then to pass this string over to our second activity, we're gonna to have to use the put extra method that is built into the intent class. So we're gonna go intent, or not int, intent. So this guy right here, dot put extra. So then the first parameter that goes within this method is the name associated to the string. So I'm just gonna call it message. And then the value is gonna be the user's name. So that's all we need within our first activities code. Now what we have to do is come over to our second activity. So I called mine new activity. We're going to navigate over to that file. And then within the on create, what I want to do is grab that string that we sent over with our intent and then change the edit text. So our activity two to whatever the user typed in as their value. So I'm going to define a new string variable and I'm just going to call it name 
set that equal to git intent dot git string extra. And then here we just provide the ID associated to the string that we sent over. So I'm just going to copy and paste this, come back over and paste that in here. So now the string that we sent over, the user's name, is now stored within this name variable here. And all we have to do is grab the text view, so this one right here, and then change the value of the text view. So we can type in text view, we'll just call it text view, set that equal to find view by ID, r.id, and I'm not sure what the ID for this is. So if we come over to attributes, ID, it's just text view two. I'm gonna copy that, come back over, dot paste that in. So now we have that text view assigned to this variable here. And all we have to do is just change the text. So we go text view dot set text to name. So now let's test this and make sure that it actually works. So once this loads up, you can see that the edit text is in between our two views. I can click in here, delete this, and I can type in my name. So just Jason, click the little check mark. And if we click change activity, you'll see that Jason is now displayed instead of activity two. We can come back and place in a different value if we want. Click in here, check mark, send it over. Then you can see that the text changed from JSON to practical coding, and you can keep going back and forth, changing the text of the text view. So I hope this made sense. As always, if you guys have any questions or if you're having trouble getting something to work, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.